So how are you? This is Vince Roman from Burn Stainless, and we're here for another episode of Vince in Shorts. This time, we are talking about merge collectors. This will probably be the first in a series of videos that we do on merge collectors, because there really is a lot to um, discuss in regards to it. So today, we're just going to do a little introductory video, kind of just showing you what a merge collector is, talk about a few of the different styles of collectors that are out there, and in later episodes, we'll talk about why we want to use different types of collectors, though I might touch on some of that today. So, in general, when people look at merge collectors, this is typically what is uh, talked about. It would be a collector with a, um, a neck down and a larger outlet on the uh, collector. Now, this is not necessarily a merge collector. Really, when we're really speaking about a merge collector, it's really from this point to here. And an example of that is a really big example right here. So this portion is the merge collector. And the reason it's called a merge collector is because it is actually fabricated from tubes that actually merge together to a point. Um, this is a set of, uh, bent, of cut tubes that have been cut and prior to welding, I thought it would be a good uh, visual here to show you um, how this is actually done. So each of the collectors is cut at an angle such that when they come together, in this case, it would form a four into one collector. Um, <clears throat> so that's the merge collector. Now, what Burn Stainless has really been known for is the merge collector, but it's also the idea of this reduced neck down section. This neck down section is really is the secret, of, one of the secrets of the merge collector. Um, first of all, the fact that these tubes are, are, are sectioned together and come in to a point gives this the exhaust flow a very smooth and continuous uh, flow path. The, uh, it's very uh, low restriction. But this outlet size here is really the magic in terms of being able to increase the power band uh, or broaden the power band of an engine. So let's go step back a little bit. This is a cutaway of, of the collector. You'll notice inside that there is the pyramid or goylet or whatever we want to call. Now, a lot of people will have the idea that a collector, you can take a regular formed collector, put a pickle or a goylet on the inside, and there you have a merge collector. Well, that's really not true because you can tell that if you just have a, a, a pickle piece in there, but you have four tubes that just open up into a big cavity that you're really not going to get that merging together of the exhaust gases that you would get in a merge collector. So merge collectors can come in various different configurations. We have the four into one. I've got a three into one collector. We've also got two into one collectors. And this one that I held up earlier is actually a five into one collector. Um, this is another five into one collector. This one was actually done for a project car. It was a Viper. And this is just uh, one extra sample that we kept from the project. But you can see that this was actually um, on a side pipe Viper setup. So there are. <clears throat> So typically we talk about the base collector, which would be this part of the collector. And then we have the various outlet strategies, this being the most common that I showed earlier, which would have a transition and an exhaust ring. This type of configuration is what typically would be used in a road going application where you actually have an exhaust pipe and mufflers or something that goes underneath the car. When we have a drag race type application where you're running an open header, this would be the type of collector that you would run. It's got a megaphone with a reverse cone. Um, 
The reason that you would use this in the drag race application is because this is really an ideal tailpipe uh, configuration. But in, in these cases, this is very hard if you were going to put this into a vehicle. The length of this, the size of the collector here would make it very difficult to put under a car. So we really would restrict this to a drag racing type application with open headers or a boat or really anything with an open header. Um, Another one, this is a three into one. This is actually a collector from a Porsche 911. And you can see again, um, this would be a road going car, but because it's running an open header on a, on a race car, this would be an appropriate configuration for that. Um, one other thing that we can talk about with merge collectors are gonna be the merge angle. In, a, in our typical collectors, we recommend a 15 degree merge angle. The merge angle is ranging from about seven degrees to about uh, 17 to 18 degrees is really about the optimum area that you can um, mount a collector. And the reason that we have gone to a 15 degree collector is because it gives us a shorter package for, the, uh, for that application. If you go down below seven degrees, this one I think is right around seven, maybe a little less than seven. You, you might imagine that a lower angle would be better for the, in terms of the flow, but what actually happens here is because of the length of the collector, the drag forces in this length of collector would actually be more, would offset any sort of gain that you would get from the uh, lower angle. This is a collector with about a 25 degree angle. And again, now we get a shorter collector, but because we're turning the exhaust um, abruptly here, there are gonna be more losses here than, you, than if you were running a 15 degree collector, or again, anywhere between that seven to 15 degrees. So that's some of the uh, things that you have to consider. Now, if you have a turbo application, we do offer collectors with 25 degree uh, bends because of the fact that in a turbo application, you're usually limited in length. So we like to standardize on a 25 degree collector on all of our uh, double slip turbo collectors. But I think that's the uh, things that I would like to talk about today. And we are looking forward to continuing our series in future weeks. Thank you for tuning in to Vincent Shorts. Thank you. <laughs>